Imagine, for a moment, a world where humans have the power to nuke Venus. An audacious concept, isn't it? But why, you might wonder, would anyone consider such a drastic measure? Well, one possible reason could be terraforming, the process of modifying a planet's atmosphere, temperature and topography to make it habitable for humans. Now, let's talk about the sheer power of nuclear weapons. As of today, there are approximately 3,750 active nuclear weapons on Earth. To give you some perspective, the bomb dropped on Hiroshima during World War II had an estimated yield of 15 kilotons. The largest nuclear weapon currently in existence, the Russian Tsar bomber, has a yield of 50 megatons. That's over 3,000 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. Now, let's turn our attention to Venus. This planet, often referred to as Earth's evil twin, is similar in size and composition to our own planet. But that's where the similarities end. Venus has a thick, toxic atmosphere mainly composed of carbon dioxide with surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead. It's a formidable environment, to say the least. So, why would we even consider nuking Venus? Well, some scientists believe that a nuclear explosion could potentially disrupt the planet's dense atmosphere, making it more conducive to human habitation. It's a radical idea, and one that is not without its critics. But let's put the controversy aside for a moment and consider the staggering power of our nuclear arsenal. If we were to unleash all 3,750 of our active nukes on Venus, the energy released would be equivalent to 75,000 megatons of TNT. That's enough to obliterate a small planet. Now that we've set the stage, consider this. What would happen if we actually nuked Venus? Hold that thought as we delve deeper into the physical composition of Venus in the next segment. Stay tuned as we explore the impact of a nuclear explosion on this enigmatic planet and ponder the long-term effects and consequences of such a daring venture. To understand the potential effects of a nuclear explosion, we first need to comprehend Venus's physical characteristics. Venus, often called Earth's sister planet because of their similar sizes, has a radius that measures about 95% of Earth's. This means that Venus is only slightly smaller than our home planet, but don't let that fool you, as its environment is dramatically different and harsher. Venus is enshrouded by a thick, toxic atmosphere dominated by carbon dioxide, which accounts for a whopping 96.5% of the total atmospheric composition. The remaining 3.5% is primarily nitrogen, with traces of other gases. This dense carbon dioxide atmosphere creates a strong greenhouse effect, trapping heat and making Venus the hottest planet in our solar system, with surface temperatures reaching up to 864 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt lead. Furthermore, the atmospheric pressure on Venus is about 92 times that of Earth. This is equivalent to the pressure experienced about 900 meters underwater on Earth. Imagine that kind of pressure combined with scorching temperatures and you have Venus, a world that is anything but hospitable. So what does all this mean for a nuclear explosion? Well, the size of Venus would ensure that the effects of such an explosion would be global. The dense carbon dioxide atmosphere would likely amplify the blast, spreading radioactive fallout far and wide. The extreme heat could potentially ignite the nuclear material, creating a fireball hotter than the surface of the planet. And the immense pressure could compress the nuclear material, increasing its destructive power. However, these are just theories. The actual effects would depend on a multitude of factors, including the size of the nuclear weapon, the location of the detonation and the specific characteristics of the Venusian environment at the time of the explosion. With Venus's extreme conditions in mind, let's explore the potential outcomes of a nuclear explosion. A nuclear explosion on Venus would be a spectacle of cosmic proportions. Imagine the raw power of a nuclear blast, magnified by the unique conditions of our neighboring planet. The immediate effects of a nuclear explosion are threefold, the creation of a fireball, shock waves and radiation. Let's consider how these effects would be influenced by the unique conditions on Venus. Firstly, the fireball. On Earth, a one megaton nuclear bomb would create a fireball approximately one mile in diameter. However, Venus's dense atmosphere, made up mostly of carbon dioxide, could theoretically amplify this effect. The fireball might expand to an even larger size, fueled by the copious amounts of carbon dioxide. It would be a sight to behold, a burning orb of energy, 
visible even from the vast distances of space. Next, the shock waves. On Earth, these waves can cause widespread destruction, leveling buildings and shattering windows miles away from the blast's epicenter. But on Venus, things might be different. The high pressure and dense atmosphere could potentially dampen the shock waves, making them less destructive than you might expect. However, the high winds on Venus, reaching up to 200 miles per hour in the upper atmosphere, could spread the effects of the shock waves to a broader area. Finally, the radiation. On Earth, the fallout can be lethal, contaminating large areas for years, but Venus's thick atmosphere could potentially shield the surface from the worst of the radiation. In fact, Venus's atmosphere is so dense that it even protects the planet from most of the Sun's harmful radiation. All these predictions are based on data from nuclear tests and simulations conducted here on Earth. But remember, Venus is a world apart, with conditions unlike anything we have here. The actual effects could be vastly different and unpredictable. The immediate impact would be catastrophic. But what about the long-term effects? That's a question for another scene, but for now, let's just appreciate the sheer power of such an event and the awe-inspiring spectacle it would create. The aftermath of a nuclear explosion on Venus could reshape the planet and have far-reaching consequences. This isn't just mere speculation, but a reality grounded in scientific theory and data. Let's first consider the potential changes to Venus's atmosphere. Following a nuclear explosion, the planet's already dense atmosphere, composed primarily of carbon dioxide and nitrogen, could undergo severe alterations. The nuclear fallout could cause a significant increase in radioactive particles in the atmosphere, leading to a potential nuclear winter. This term, borrowed from our studies of nuclear explosions here on Earth, refers to a dramatic cooling and darkening effect caused by the blocking out of sunlight. This nuclear winter could drastically lower the temperatures on Venus, a planet known for its scorching heat. The average temperature, currently at a searing 465 degrees Celsius, could plummet, creating an environment more akin to the cold, barren landscapes of Mars than the inferno we know Venus to be today. The explosion could also greatly affect the planet's surface. The intense heat and pressure of a nuclear blast could melt Venus's rocky surface, causing large-scale geographical changes and potentially creating new landforms. But what does this mean for future exploration or colonization efforts? Well, the radioactive fallout could render Venus even more inhospitable than it already is. Any future missions to Venus would need to contend with this radiation, posing significant risks to both human and robotic explorers. Additionally, the potential nuclear winter could create a hostile environment with temperatures far below what current technology is capable of withstanding. This could significantly set back any plans for future exploration or colonization of Venus. Of course, these are all hypothetical scenarios based on our understanding of nuclear explosions and their effects on Earth. The actual impact could be significantly different given the unique conditions on Venus. Clearly, nuking Venus could have dramatic and potentially devastating effects, but would it be worth it? That's a question we'll delve into next, as we weigh the risks and rewards of such a cosmic gamble. The decision to nuke Venus would be a monumental one, with significant risks and potential rewards. Any action of this magnitude demands a careful assessment. On one hand, the potential benefits are tantalizing. Unleashing nuclear energy on Venus could yield a wealth of scientific knowledge, a deep understanding of nuclear reactions and their effects on celestial bodies. It might even open the door to terraforming the process of modifying a planet's environment to make it Earth-like. However, the risks are considerable. We could inadvertently damage the planet or worse, trigger a chain reaction that spirals out of control. And let's not forget the potential backlash from the international community, a factor that cannot be quantified, but is crucial to consider. In the end, the question remains, what if we nuke Venus? The answer, as with many things in astrophysics, is complex and fraught with uncertainty.